Acting seems like a pretty sweet gig. Just say your lines, enjoy professional catering, and hang out in your trailer the rest of the time. But it's a lot more stressful than you think, and many actors have come extremely close to bailing on a project due to specific scenes. It's hard to imagine Gandalf being played by anyone other than Sir Ian McKellen, who played the wizard in all six Lord of the Rings and Hobbit films. But if things had worked out a little differently during the filming of The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey, director Peter Jackson might have had to find a different actor. That's because McKellen was acting almost exclusively to a green screen since his character towered over the hobbits and their interactions had to be stitched together digitally. The frustration of acting alone eventually got to McKellen, who broke down on the set at one point. Jackson did a little emergency outreach to convince him to stick around, and the crew held a Gandalf Appreciation Day and decorated his tent with Lord of the Rings mementos. You think you hated Fox's first couple of Fantastic Four movies? Try being Jessica Alba, whose experiences playing Sue in Visible Woman Storm nearly made her walk away from acting altogether. Alba's frustration stemmed from working with director Tim Story, who she later claimed issued absurd demands like telling her to keep her facial expression flat during a crying scene so she'd stay pretty. After 2007's Rise of the Silver Surfer, she realized she didn't care about the movie business anymore and has been more selective about acting projects. But things have still worked out pretty well for her. She went on to co-found The Honest Company, currently valued around $1 billion. Interview with the Vampire united Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt in a visually sumptuous adaptation of the best-selling Anne Rice novel. But being part of 1994's most eagerly anticipated Beefcake Summit wasn't all it was cracked up to be for Pitt. Years after the movie came and went, Pitt admitted he was so miserable during filming that he actually approached producer David Geffen about buying out his contract, only to reconsider after Geffen informed him it cost $40 million. The Walking Dead nearly suffered what would have been a devastating loss in season 3 when Lauren Cohan, who plays Maggie, contemplated quitting over a particularly stressful scene. After reading the script and realizing Maggie was supposed to perform an emergency C-section on Lori Grimes while the character's son looked on, she took her concerns to co-star Steven Yun, explaining she was worried it would be too intense. But after further consideration, that's exactly why she decided to stay. Recognizing that The Walking Dead is a show about people pushed to grueling extremes. She drew on her discomfort to deliver an affectingly honest performance. Marvel's The Avengers was such a huge, ambitious project that it attracted actors who usually don't do comic book movies, including two-time Oscar nominee Jeremy Renner as Clint Barton, aka Hawkeye. While some of the more famous heroes in the movie, like Iron Man, The Hulk, Captain America, got to do more interesting things, Hawkeye spent most of The Avengers as the brainwashed servant of villain Loki. Renner was… displeased. He explained during a Q&A event, I was just getting to know who Hawkeye was and then zap, I go around like a zombie. I'm like Loki's minion. But don't worry, Renner took it like a champ. <laughs> just kidding. He sulked and whined about it. He later recalled that in each scene he'd make horrible, audible grunts of pain. When asked why by the crew, he said, I'm giving you an option if you just want to kick me out of this movie. Just you know, at any given moment, if you want to kill me off, daddy's going to be having a heart attack. During production on the first Fast and Furious movie, series regular and all-around badass Michelle Rodriguez actually considered walking away over concerns about the way her character, Letty Ortiz, was written. Specifically, Rodriguez took issue with the way the script called for Letty to betray her true love, Dom, and fall for undercover cop Brian, a betrayal she felt made no sense for a woman who'd clearly prefer, in her words, the alpha-ist of alpha males to a pretty boy. Refusing to betray her vision of Letty, Rodriguez put her foot down telling producers she'd quit the movie if she had to. Fortunately for Fast and Furious fans, the storyline was tweaked to Rodriguez's liking, and the rest is blockbuster history.